Hello YouTubers, Merry Christmas and welcome to Day 5 of Season 2 of the 12 Days of Christmas Cards Diecasts. And today, we're going to take a look at the Custom Thailand Tar Lightning McQueen. Now, before we get right into the review, let's, let's start, first let's start with the retrospective. So, While like during his first time in Radiator Springs during the 2005 Piston Cup season, Lightning McQueen, when Lightning McQueen was sentenced to repave a portion of the main street of Radiator Springs, which he torn up with Bessie, Lightning was making progress when a splat of tar landed on one of his shiny Lightning Bolt stickers. As you can see here, sorry about the close up. Try not to make it look too close though. So, anyhow, he called for Red to wash it off, but Red was so scared that he, considering that Lightning was responsible for killing his flowers, so Red took his flowers with him and then disappeared. And when he saw two minivans named Van and Minnie driving through town, objecting the whole townsfolk, including Sally, for any souvenirs, he tried to ask them directions to the inn. I mean, he tried to beg for them to call his team to get him to California at Los Angeles International Speedway to in time to win the 2005 Piston Cup season, but then they just simply drove off. And on the radio, he heard that Chick Hicks was the first to arrive at LA International Speedway. So, lightning drove as fast as he could and finished the road, only to find that he made a me bumpy mess of splattered tar, much to his mm, impressive mood. And then He was then ordered by Doc Hudson to scrape it off and start over again. But then, when Lightning said that he is a race car, Doc then challenged him to a one-lap race around Willie's Butte. And during the one lap race, Lightning was the first to take off, leaving Doc in a cloud of dust, resulting in Lightning losing control and landing right into a cactus patch. And then Doc ordered Mater to tow him out, and Lightning went back to repaving, scraping, and re repaving the portion of the main road. And, and he did the work properly all through the night. And, and earlier the next morning, the whole townsfolk, including Doc, were so impressed by how he did. And, and then he wondered where Lenny was at. And as it turns out, he and Sheriff were at Willie's Butte. And Doc, and as it also as it turns out, Lightning ran out of asphalt in the middle of the night and asked Sheriff if he could come down to Willie's Butte and Lightning made many attempts to turn on the third turn that he had missed yesterday but to no avail. Then Doc tried to coach him to turn right to go left but Lightning took his... but Lightning he went, ignored his advice, and literally went right, resulting in him in landing in another cactus patch. And the whole once, once so once again, lightning 
was back on the road this and went back once again to repave the rest of the main road that the whole townsfolk began sprucing up their shops which making Radiator Springs look brand new and then just then Luigi tried to offer Lightning many t a, a set of tires but Lightning wasn't interested in, and even got a hose down from Red and and after that Sally offered Lightning to stay I mean, she offered to get out of the impound and stay clean for the, co in, for the Cozy Cone Motel and offered him cone number one. And while Sally was driving off back to the motel, Lightning noticed a tattoo right on the back of Sally, which was very funny, What? although I must admit. Wasn't it funny to you? Let me know what you think in the comments down below. And unfortunate, other than that, un, the tattoo Sally, I, I unfortunately don't have. So hopefully I'll get the Sally with the tattoo, if I can. And then, Mater, Mater then invited Lightning in to go out with him tonight on tractor tipping. And then, which Lightning had won, won the game by tipping all the tractors with the loud rev of his engine <laughs> and made all the tractors fart. It was really funny too. And then Frank, who I unfortunately don't have, have chased the two down and made her even teased Lightning and showed him his backwards driving lesson. And then Lightning promised Mater that he will get a first helicopter ride. And after that, Lightning drove off to cone number one, and Sally ensured that Mater trusted him. And then the next morning, as Lightning waited for Sheriff to give his ration of gas, he peeked into Doc's garage and stumbled upon three piston cup trophies and a newspaper implying that Doc was a race car known as the Fabulous Hudson Hornet and then Doc kicked him out of the garage and, light and ordered him to wait at Flo's. Lightning then drove to Flo's trying to tell everyone about Doc's racing days but unfortunately nobody even believed him. Then Sally invited Lightning to go out on a drive I've through on around through Route 66, thanks. And the two even raced at an abandoned motel known as the Wheelwell Motel. She then went on on telling Lightning about the heydays of Radiator Springs and how much it means to her. And during a tractor stampede. Lightning then came to across Willie's Butte and came across Doc, who was wearing his old red racing tires. It was from his racing days. And he even seen Doc doing a power slide, which amazed him. And, and unbeknown to Doc, Lightning was watching him, and Doc tried to hide from him, but to no avail. And Doc went on telling Lightning about how his racing career had ended. Early the next morning, the road was completed, but Lightning didn't want to leave yet. He wanted to do some things first, like getting new tires from Luigi and Guido, a sample of some organic, homemade organic fuel from Fillmore, surplus hut supplies from, like, night vision goggles from Sarge, bumper stickers from Lizzie, and a dark red Corvette paint job from Ramon. And during its diecast releases, it was has been released numerous of times as a single and in multi-packs, only in a China variant. Now take note that this custom 
Tar Lightning McQueen is a Thailand is the is a Thailand version, which I made from using a black sharpie right here. Yeah, right here, as you can see there. So now, without any further ado, let's dig right into the review. So here I've got his happy facial expression, his bright red paint job, and his headlight stickers with a 95 on one of them. And on the hood, we've got the old Rusty's logo and the lightning bolt sticker and the tar marking, which, I, which is, was actually a marking from a black Sharpie. And on both sides, we've got the red rims on the black wall light year racing tires and the yellow 95 on a yellow retro lightning bolt and the Rusty's logo and the gas cap. Several contingency sponsors saying Piston Cup, Nitrate, Revolting, Mood Springs, Octane Gain, No Stall, Vinyling, Gas Sprint, Gaskets, Easy Idle, Low Torque Pistons, RPM, Leakless, Returning Clutch Shade, and the Exhaust Pipes. And on the top we've got the yellow 95 and the in his name signature saying Lightning McQueen. The Rusty's logo on the old ducktail spoiler. And on the back we've got the Rusty's logo in the middle and the taillight stickers with the 95 on one of them and the yellow rookie stripe with the slogan medicated bumper ointment and underneath it says Mattel Disney slash Pixar made in Thailand so now so now so take note that I got another regular Thailand Cars 1 Lightning McQueen from this 5-pack which has not only Cars 1 Lightning McQueen but with DJ with the green stripes who I do a comparison with the blue stripe DJ for an, uh, for the blue stripe a comparison with the blue stripe DJ who will be comparison between the two DJs for another day boost to replace the other boost that I have, which is Broken, Wingo, and Snot Rod. So I got this 5-pack from a Walmart store last week on precisely Tuesday. So we've got the, the old Cars logo and the Mattel logo, and, and it says Tuners Race. And on the back, we've got the old Cars logo and the RSN logo saying RSN Racing Sports Network, the Mattel logo, and the cars on the back. We've got DJ, Boost, regular Cars 1, Lightning McQueen, Wingo, and Snot Rod. So, so I'll... So I'll be right back once I get the five pack unboxed. And and so with this Cars 1 Lightning McQueen without the tar marking has been extracted. Let's compare him. M compare the two. Both are Lightning McQueen. Both bear the same expression and deck cows as in the first film. But here are some here's the difference. All lightning bolt stickers clean. One lightning bolt sticker dirty with one out of the two clean. So now let's pull up some of the other Cars 1 Lightning McQueens because my battery's getting low. We've got Time Lightning McQueen, Finish Line Lightning McQueen, and so on and so forth. And that is it. So what do you guys think? Which Cars 1 Lightning McQueen is your favorite? Which car for day 6 tomorrow do you wish for me to review next? Let me know what you think as well as leaving suggestions or a vote on which car for day 6 tomorrow do you wish for me to review tomorrow. 
And if you have enjoyed this video, please don't forget to leave a like and subscribe. And also don't forget to check out some of my other videos on my channel. And I hope to see you guys tomorrow for day six. So until next time, Merry Christmas. Goodbye now.